I'm Thor Carlson and I approve of this holiday video card. Social networking being what it is these days, this year's card has gone video and is being released through YouTube. Let's see if we can get Thor's YouTube channel up to the Kardashian levels of viewership. But what you're really here for, I know, is to get to the 2010 All Thor quiz, so let's get right at it. Question 1. At work at the Science Museum in Minnesota this year, Thor spent most of his time involved in a project to redo the exhibits at the Museum of Discovery in Little Rock, Arkansas, which, by the way, is not very far from the Clinton Presidential Library. All that work has led Thor to A, rework a lot of classic Science Museum exhibits from around the country into a unified group of activities, B, develop three new activities involving alternative energy sources, or C, get no takers on his idea for a new interactive experience called Test the DNA of the Intern's Dress. Question 2. The 2010 highlights this year for the Gloria Day Lutheran Church Chancel Choir have included A. Singing an originally, original composition in the uh, retirement uh, service for senior pastor Susan Peterson. B. Performing at an All Saints Day Hymn Festival in November with two other metro area choirs at the uh, Big Central Lutheran Church in downtown Minneapolis. Or C. Debuting Kanye West's new uh, hip-hop version of A Mighty Fortress is Our God. Question 3. Finally getting the chance again to see outdoor baseball games being played at Target Field this year has led Thor to A. Enjoy seeing how the elements can factor into the game. B. Become proud of how Twins overcame so many injuries to defend their Central Division uh, crown. And C. Realize that he still hates the Yankees just as much outdoors as he did indoors. Question 4. 2010 was a great doobie year for Thor in that A, he got to spend two nights watching the band perform with Steve Miller in San Francisco in January, and then also got to see the band play in Chicago with the band Chicago in July. B, the band released its first new album of new material in more than 10 years. C, he can now recite all of the band's lyrics both forward and backwards. Question 5. In his role as a volunteer at the Science Museum the, over the past year, Thor has A, joined the Volunteer Advisory Committee, which helps set new directions for volunteer programs at the museum, B, had fun leading visitors to the Dead Sea Scrolls exhibit through activities in, involving scroll reconstruction and also the geography of the Dead Sea, C, has investigated uh, a new do-it-yourself organ transplant program to share with visitors at our human body gallery. Question 6. Politics in Minnesota in 2010 were notable for, to Thor because A. The governor's race came down to another recount. B. Leadership in both the executive and legislative branches changed parties after this year's election. C. Tom Emmer is now looking for one of those $100,000 a year restaurant waiting jobs. And finally, the last question for this year's quiz, question 7. Following all the drama that has been the 2010 Viking football season, Thor was amazed by A. Coach Childress getting fired mid-season, B. The short-lived return of Randy Moss, C. The collapse of the Metrodome roof, wait just a second here, uh, Oh, it's a text from Brett Favre. Ooh, well, uh, never mind. But uh, getting back to more serious matters here, that aforementioned new Doobie Brothers album is titled World Gone Crazy. If we look at the headlines from the past year, you can see that they were pretty much right on the mark with uh, how we'll probably remember 2010. Uh, but as I look to 2011, I'd like to think of the refrain from another track on that album, a song called Brighter Day. Uh, it goes something like this. So everybody shout to your brother. Everybody sing, let your spirits fly away. Oh, 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 shout to your brother. So all the people have a brighter day. And with that, I'd just like to wish you a happy holidays and a happy new year.